fuck out. Some retro shit here. Look at this. Hell yeah. That thing didn't even work. Hell Where'd yeah. you get that from? <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm here for the babysitting job. <laughs> so I mean, he's, you know, he's about treating the bands right. He knows. And we got this whole backstage area, this whole bar. It's called the VIP room. Said, oh, not the 16 year old girls. That's all we want. That's all we back here. <laughs> Cut that out of the yeah. video. <laughs> It's a, it's a killer idea at the same time, it, it's going to be all for a good reason, at the same time we got to be careful because we're messing with classic songs as it is, but it's, it, yeah, it is going to be a, a chore to do this and do it right, that's, that's bottom line. Anyways, I need another drink. how you install the BBE Sonic Maximizer secret weapon. No bullshit.
That, that right there, that's all we're gonna do. That's okay. it. Well, that's all I care about. I don't care about it. Yeah. Well, well right there, it it goes longer. So I'm saying, when you listen to it, remember, remember to cut it in half. half. Just yeah, cut, cut it in half, whatever you consider half. Okay. Because then it's gonna change to the Just chorus. Like you came up with the title. The guy that's interviewing me <laughs> came up with the title, and uh, it was gonna be an instrumental song. And then when you brought up Caress of the Dead, we were reaching out to deliver like two newest, strongest songs we put in the record. And somehow, I guess in the jam room, we were playing around with the music and then started coming up with ideas for vocals. And the title alone was uh, a situation where it made us like almost, you know, simultaneously think about necrophilia. And then I started talking about, well, there's a... Actually, uh, the, the original thought was like, well, maybe Vampire again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Original thought, and then you said, oh, maybe about something like close to Alice Cooper, Love It to Death, or, you know, I Love the Dead. Then, then it made me think about an old story that I saw on, like, uh, True Crimes or, you know, Unsolved Mysteries or something about this weird story about the doctor who fell in love with this patient he that died on, and he convinced the family to let him preserve her and try to figure out what he, where he went wrong. But all he was doing was committing sinful acts with this piñata, pretty much. <laughs> and then you can go look up the story online. It's a true story about a guy that took a dead body and kept it and preserved it and tied its bones with piano wire, replaced its eyes with glass eyes, uh, put a tube in it so he could have sex with it. And basically, they, uh, they found him and busted him, and then they uh, came and took her away from him. He was pretty upset. Set. Goodbye. <laughs> Today we practice no bueno. Goodbye. <laughs>